Ladies and gentlemen, it's time that you please rise for today's invocation offered by Bobby Green and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the best sounding band in the land, the Spirit of Northwestern Purple Haze Pep Band. Please bow your heads with me. Father, we love you, Lord. We just thank you for today. Thank you for being with us and uh, bringing us here, Lord. I just pray for all these athletes, Lord, that they go out here and glorify you, not to please anybody here in the crowd, but just to glorify you, Lord. I just pray that, uh, that you keep this game injury-free, Lord, and that we all just love uh, in, in all the things that we do, Lord. We love you and we thank you, and especially for Jesus, and we pray this in his name. Amen. Prather Coliseum on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for today's game by meeting our starting lineups. First for our visitors from Abilene. At guard, a 6'2 junior from Little Rock, Arkansas, number zero, Jalen Franklin. At forward, a 6'6 junior from Orlando, Florida, number one, Jaron Lewis. At guard, a 5'11 senior from Lawton, Oklahoma, Number three, Tevin Foster. At guard, a 6'2 sophomore from Wichita, Kansas. Number five, Peyton Ricks. And at center, a 6'9 sophomore from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Number 21, Jalen Friday. Head coach of the Wildcats is Joe Golding, assisted by Brett Tanner, Ted Crass, and Antonio Bostic. And now, fans on your feet. And welcome to today's Northwestern State Starters. At guard, a 5'10 freshman from Monroe, Louisiana. Number zero, C.J. Jones. At guard, a 6'3 senior from Compton, California. Number one, Isaiah Sweeney. At guard, a 6'7 junior from Clarence, Louisiana. Number 10, Malik Muchwire. At forward, a 6'8 junior from Port Allen, Louisiana. Number 20, Ishmael Lane. And at guard, a 6'4 junior from Bowie, Maryland. Number 23, Darian Dixon. Head coach of the Demons is Mike McConaughey, assisted by Jeff Moore, Bill Lewitt, and Jacob Spielbauer. The junior from Clarence, Louisiana, out of Lakeview High School. Darian Dixon, 6'8", 220, the freshman from Bowie, Maryland, out of Bishop McNamara and Scotland Performance Institute. And in the middle for the Demons will be Ishmael Lane. Lane comes in, 6'8", 250. He is a junior from Port Allen High School, Port Allen, Louisiana. The Demons are coached by Mike McConaughey. Coach Mike, 283 and 288 in his 19th year at the helm of the Demons. He is 634 and 447 overall in his 35th year as a head coach. Abilene Christian comes out in purple on purple uniforms, purple jersey tops, purple pants, ACU across the front in white, and the number on the back. The Demons come out white on white. Northwestern State purple trimmed in orange, number on the front, number on the back. It'll be Jelani Friday and Ishmael Lane jumping center. Lane will catch it on the way down. C.J. Jones comes up with it. And the Demons will have the first possession. Demons have had a week off, so we'll see what differences we might see from them offensively as, Dar as Malik Matwire has it up top to Ishmael Lane, lob inside to Dixon. Ball will go out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on the Demons' first possession. 
And NSU's going to pick up full court here. Little uh, man pressure here for the Demons. So not much as uh, Jalen Franklin, who was the freshman of the year in the Southland Conference a couple of seasons ago. Works into the front court, top of the key. Friday will fire a three and bury it. Jelani Friday has the ability to step outside and knock down the triple, and he does that there. And Abilene Christian leads three to nothing. Hand off to, to Isaiah Sweeney, right wing. Sweeney works to the top on the dribble, now works with the right hand, flips it back right wing to Matwire. Matwire down on the mid post to Dixon. Dixon back to the basket, spins baseline, cut off, back to Matwire. Pump fakes and travels. Demons turn it over on their first two possessions. 50 seconds in, Jelani Friday hit a three. Friday, his 29th three of the year. So the big fella, 6'9", 235, the reigning freshman of the year in the Southland Conference, is actually the most prolific three-point shooter that the Wildcats have. Jaron Lewis, right wing to Jalen Franklin, back left wing, another three from Friday. That one goes, and Jelani Friday has six. Northwestern State has nothing. Friday shooting 41% from beyond the arc as Brandon Hutton gets set to check in. C.J. Jones on the dribble out long. High screen and roll. Jones works to the left elbow, fires it left corner to McTwire. Back to Jones, 15 to shoot. Top of the key, Dixon. Dribble handoff to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney works with the left hand. Long two on the way is no good. Long rebound, Friday clears it, fires ahead to Peyton Ricks. Ricks into the front court, cut off. Back to Friday, now right wing to Tevin Foster. Right corner for Jalen Franklin. Franklin back up top, drive. Now into the left corner for Ricks. Ricks traveled with it. We go the other way. Brandon Hutton will check in to replace Ishmael Lane as Lane a little bit lazy getting out on a couple of three-point attempts. And so Mike McConathy will pull him. Brandon Hutton, 6'5", 215, the sophomore transfer from Chicago, Illinois, out of De La Salle High School, University of Iowa, and Indian Hills Community College. C.J. Jones in the front court, handoff to Isaiah Sweeney. Right wing Malik McTwire. McTwire dribbling long, top of the key, Darian Dixon. Left corner for Sweeney. Sweeney has the only shot attempt for the Demons so far. Hutton in the post, turn around, fade away. Good, Brandon Hutton. Opens the scoring for the Demons. Hutton coming off of an 8.3 rebound performance. And Ishmael Lane getting set to check right back in. They lob it inside. Friday loses it out of bounds. It'll go back to the Demons. Good defense by Hutton fronting the post as Ishmael Lane will come in for Darian Dixon. So Hutton and Lane will play together with Isaiah Sweeney, C.J. Jones, and Malik Matwire. Of course, the Demons very depth shy now and therefore have not really been able to institute their wave substitutions for almost the entire season now. C.J. Jones off the screen and roll. Feeds it left wing to Matwire. Matwire drives. Now kicks it back to Jones. Jones traveled, didn't get called. Steps inside, feeds to Lane. Lane goes up. Ball stripped out of bounds. Peyton Ricks from behind stripped it from Lane as he was going up to dunk it with two hands. And Mike McConathy not happy. As the Demons inbound from the right baseline to Matwire, 10 to shoot. Matwire in the right corner, drives all the way with it, floats it with the left hand, rattles around, no good. Tip up, no good. Tip up again is good for Ishmael Lane. Demons have cut the lead to 6-4. to 17.05 left to go, first half of play. Ball in the left wing, Ricks. Holding there, a lot of offside screening going on. Ricks works against Matwire, throws it inside, back to the basket Friday, turns and fades, misses it, running in and out. Rebound pulled down by Matwire, Matwire will look to run. Up to the left-hand side, slows it down, feeds it back out long to Jones, nearly in the half-court circle. C.J. Jones works long on the right wing, setting up the offense. Demons down six to four. Jones works off a screen, floater from the free throw line, back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Friday. He lobs it ahead up the left side, Jaron Lewis. Lewis takes it into the lane, steps through. Shot off glass is good, and he gets the foul. And Mike McConaughey immediately in the ear of one of our offside officials complaining about how that foul gets called, but not gets called on the other end. Into the ball game comes Drake Green, 6'3", 195, senior from Houston, Texas, out of Clear Lake High School. Jaron Lewis will go to the line to shoot one to try to complete the three-point play. Eight to four, Abilene with the lead, 16-23 left to go in the first half of play. Mike McConaughey still in the ear of the official as Lewis knocks down the, the uh, free throw. Little one-two-two-three quarter court 
pressure here by the Wildcats. Demons break it. Isaiah Sweeney gets it back to C.J. Jones. 20 to shoot. Jones on the right wing, hands off to Sweeney. Sweeney drives right baseline, pulls up from 12, and he's fouled. Foul will be called on Drake Green, I believe. That should be two free throws for Isaiah Sweeney. So Green picks up his first personal. Your officials for this ball game, Doug George, Travis Modell, and Ryan Snyder. So Isaiah Sweeney goes to the line to shoot a pair. This is where the Demons have been most deficient this year is at the free throw line. Sweeney knocks down the first to make it 9-5. to five. The Demons shooting just 63% from the free throw line. That is eighth worst in the nation. Sweeney knocks down both of them, however. Good start. 9-6 to six in favor of Abilene. So we get set to go under 16 minutes left to go in the first half of play. They get it down to Friday on the baseline. Just barrels in. Shot up no good. Gets his own rebound. Put back is good for Jelani Friday. He's got eight of his team's 11. Wildcats lead 11 to 6. C.J. Jones pulls it all the way back out to half court on the right side. Goes between the legs. Gives it up top to Malik Matwire. 16 to shoot. Matwire to Sweeney left wing inside the Ishmael Lane. Going against Friday. Goes up and underneath him and puts it in. Ishmael Lane, nice move on the baseline. Goes underneath the outstretched arms of Jelani Friday and scores to make it 11-8 ACU. Jalen Franklin out long at the top. Picks up the dribble. Right elbow now for Jaron Lewis. Up top to Tevin Foster. Now around it goes. Down on the baseline. Jalen Franklin back to the basket. Floats it up. That one's good. Jalen Franklin's first points of the ballgame. Makes it 13-8. Abilene getting good shots at the rim. Demons are just two of six from the field to start. Hutton lobs it inside to Elaine. Lane is fouled as he goes up for it, and that'll be two shots for Ishmael Lane. Nice over-the-back pass. Foul called on Drake Green, and so the reserve guard picks up his second personal. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 14.55 left to go in the first half of play. Abilene leads 13-8. Demons will be shooting two when we return. You're listening to Northwestern State Demon Basketball on NSUDemons.com. by the Walk-On's Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, a bear town and country, Manpower, Mike and Kenny Knotts, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Life. Demons Trail 13-8 to Abilene Christian here in the early going. The Demons getting free throws here from Ishmael Lane. Lane heads to the line after being fouled. A nice high-low pass from Brandon Hutton into Lane. Lane then got fouled, misses the first free throw. Short, Ishmael Lane, 65% from the free throw line this year. Demons, we mentioned, though, have really struggled from the stripe. Now three for four after Ishmael Lane makes one of two. He's got five points, makes it 13-9. Demons shooting 43% from the field. Abilene, 71. They're five of their first seven from the field, getting good looks inside. Wanting to go inside again, can't get it there. Dribble by Peyton Ricks. He'll go inside, step through, shot is blocked out of bounds. Well, they're going to initially, Doug George said he said it was just out of bounds on an air ball, but he gets corrected. And that is a blocked shot for the Demons after Ricks misses that one. So the Demons will set up defensively. Abilene inbounds from the right baseline. They get it quickly into Jaron Lewis, 10 to shoot. Drive from the right side. Floater is short for Jalen Franklin. Rebound pulled down by the Demons. C.J. Jones brings it into the front court. 
Works out long on the right wing. Works with the left hand, top of the key, Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney feeds Malik Matwire left wing, trying to go inside and can't. Sweeney works off a screen from Ishmael Lane, then has it stripped. Ball is loose. Bodies collide. They're going to say off of Sweeney and out of bounds. Mike McConaughey giving directions to his charges as that is the third turnover of the ball game for NSU. Abilene with two turnovers. This is uh, not a team that turns it over a lot in Abilene. They average just over 13 a game. That's second best in the Southland. Ball on the right side, Jaron Lewis. Back to the basket against Brandon Hutton. Turns, gets him in the air, drives in, flips it to the left side. Shot is blocked by Ishmael Lane from Jelani Friday. 11 to shoot. Ball on the left wing, Tevin Foster. Foster will drive in, and that's going to be a hand check violation against Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will pick up his first personal. Ishmael Lane, who averages 1.7 block shots per ball game, picks up his first. Beautiful block there by Ish Lane. 13 to 9, Abilene with the lead. 13-42 left to go. Jalen Franklin dribbling out long. C.J. Jones playing well off of him. They get it to Ricks in the left corner. Dribbling against Matwire. Now left wing to Tevin Foster. Lob it inside at the free throw line. Four to shoot, driving the left side. Shot off back iron, no good. Rebound Brandon Hutton inside off the miss by Jaron Lewis. Hutton's going to turn and bring it out himself. Works with the right hand, and he's going to be called for a carrying violation. Demons turn it over for the fourth time now. 13-20 left to go, first half of play. 13-9, Abilene with the lead. Demons forced, forced to play slow. Drive down the right side, flip back to Friday. Another three, this one from the top is no good. Rebound, we're going to have an over-the-back violation on Jaron Lewis. Lewis picks up his first. And that will bring in Hayden Farquhar. Six seven two fifteen. the junior from Throckmorton, Texas, out of Throckmorton High School. Checks into the ball game. Farquhar averages just 10 minutes a game. C.J. Jones on the left wing on the dribble. Works with the right hand, steps back. Top of the key, Zaya Sweeney. They're trying to look inside to Ishmael Lane. Now right wing, Malik Matwire. Matwire skips it left wing to Jones. Left corner to Sweeney inside. Ish Lane skips it right corner. Hutton, he'll fire a three. Back iron, no good. Long rebound in the corner, picked up by Peyton Ricks. Gives to Jalen Franklin. Franklin picked up by Brandon Hutton into the front court. Crosses him over, works into the lane. Floater is on the way and rattles home for Jalen Franklin. He's got four. Back to a six-point advantage for ACU, 15-9. ACU's cooled off considerably. They missed their last five shots before that one went down. C.J. Jones, top of the key to Sweeney. He'll step into a three. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Ish Lane swallows it up, creates space, and he's fouled. Help! Jelani Friday, the big fella, is going to pick that one up, and that's a big foul. Any fouls you can get on Jelani Friday, they are good. By the way, Jelani Friday has fouled out of every single Southland Conference game this year. So Ish Lane, who made one of two from the line earlier, goes back to the line to shoot a pair here doing a nice job on the glass. The Demons are one of the best offensive rebounding teams in America. <laughs> Top 50 in America in offensive rebounds. But then again, when you miss as many shots as the Demons have, shooting just 39%, there tend to be a lot of rebounds available. Larry Owens checks into the game for the Demons. 6'8", 260, freshman from Monroe, Carroll High School. A couple of fresh bodies in for Abilene as Ishmael Lane knocks down one of two, and he'll check out for Darian Dixon. Into the ball game for Abilene, B.J. Maxwell, 6'4", 190, sophomore from Austin, Texas, another home school kid. And uh, also Hayden Howell, 6'7", 225, junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, Carl Albert High School. Ball in the right corner. Peyton Ricks, he fires a three short. Rebound, Dar uh, Malik Matwire. Matwire will bring it to the front court, left side. Hands off to C.J. Jones on the left wing, setting up the offense. Jones, they lob it inside to Owens. Tough catch, can't finish. A lot of contact, no call. Needed to really gather himself. He tried to sort of throw it up as he was coming down. Ball on the left wing, dry from there. Shot blocked by McGuire. Offensive rebound inside. Ball lost, picked up by Larry Owens. Demons forced the turnover. C.J. Jones out with it. Demons trail 15-10 with 11.5 left to go. 
in the first half of play. C.J. Jones has had to play a lot of minutes in Southland Conference play. He's averaging 34 minutes a game in conference play. He's Isaiah Sweeney from the left corner. Step back three from the left wing, and he buries it. Isaiah Sweeney's got five. The lead has been cut to two. 15-13 with 11.07 left to go in the first half of play. Two ACU players run into each other as they try to set screens on the baseline. Left wing Peyton Ricks. Up top it goes. Hayden Farquhar, right wing, right baseline drive. That's going to be a charge. Nice job, C.J. Jones got right in front of B.J. Maxwell and drew the charge. And the Demons will get the ball back with a chance to tie or take the lead for the first time. 10.53 left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State trails 15 to 13. Demons on offense when we return. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network on NSUDemons.com. left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State down 15 to 13. Demons will have the basketball when we return. NSU has hit just four of 11 from the field for 36%. Abilene has hit six of 15 for 40%. They started five of seven, but they've hit just one of their last eight from the field. Demons with the basketball. C.J. Jones working on the right wing. Jones top of the key to Darian Dixon. Works, gives it left corner. Sweeney for another three, and they're going to call him for a traveling violation. He knocked down the three, but they call him for steps. As he, as he caught it, he sort of hopped into the corner and fired that three, and they called him for traveling. For the Demons, that's the fifth turnover of the first half. They forced four against Abilene. Into the front court, Tevin Foster. Up top for Jaron Lewis. Lewis looking, can't go anywhere with it. Now dribbles, flips it into the right corner in the hands of Isaiah Tripp, 6'1", 190, senior from Baltimore, Maryland, future college prep. Ball on the left baseline. That shot is good from 10 for Jaron Lewis. Lewis has five, makes it 17-13. C.J. Jones out long on the dribble, feeds it to Larry Owens' right wing. Owens will dribble, drives all the way to the right side, puts it up and in, and the blocking foul. Owens will get a chance for the and one. Well, Isaiah Tripp was about three feet inside the restricted arc when he tried to draw that charge. By the way, who would try to draw, draw a charge on Larry Owens? That is someone with a suicide wish. Larry Owens at 6'8", 260, full head of steam from the right wing. If you stand in front of that, you're just not smart. Owens misses the free throw from the back iron, so he doesn't complete the three-point play. But... He pushes the Demons back to within 17-15. Drive down the left side, shot is no good. Rebound is out long, but an over the back violation is going to be called on Darian Dixon. Dixon will pick up his first personal. 9.52 left to go, first half of play. Demons are staying within striking distance, down 17-15. Caleb Starks checks in, Starks 6'3", 195, the freshman from Lafayette Christian Academy. ACU having a very quality season after winning seven conference games last year. They are three and two in conference play this year, having lost to UNO to start and then winning three of their next four. They lob it out long to Jaron Lewis. Drive from the right side and a traveling violation called on Tevin Foster. Foster is a graduate transfer from Drury University, one of the more successful Division II schools you'll find. He actually started his career at the University of South Dakota as a corner, then moved to uh, junior college at Labette Community College, then to Drury. They lob it inside, and that's a foul on the catch. 
Trey Lennox commits the foul. Now it'll be one and one free throws. Foul called on Lennox, 6'3", 220, sophomore from Hot Springs High School, Hot Springs, Arkansas. One of the major negatives you can say about this Abilene Christian team is they are exceptionally foul prone. They average just over 21 fouls committed a ball game, which is third from the bottom in the Southland Conference. So teams, a lot of free throws on the other end as Darian Dixon knocks that one in. For the Demons, that's not necessarily a good thing as they struggle from the stripe. However, Darian Dixon knocks down the first, the freshman. Both are good. Darian Dixon with two, and the Demons have tied it up. First time it was tied since 0-0. 9.35 remaining. Ball on the left wing, Jaron Lewis hands off to Tevin Foster. Foster works to the right wing, feeds it to Friday, throws up the wild turnaround hook, and it's good. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it went in. Jelani Friday with 10 points already. Makes it 19-17. C.J. Jones into the front court. Working with the left hand, up top to Larry Owens. Owens will drive against Friday. A high off glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Franklin. Franklin looks to run into the front court, feeds it to Foster. Ball stripped, picked up by Dixon. Dixon looks to run out with it, no numbers. He brings it to the right wing, pulls it back out to C.J. Jones. Jones drives with the right hand, and he's going to be fouled, and that'll be free throws for C.J. Jones. Foul called on Tevin Foster is his first. And Jones will go to the line to shoot the one and one as Ishmael Lane checks in for Darian Dixon. So Jones, the freshman point guard, coming off of a 15-point performance against Stephen F. Austin, including a couple of big threes in that ball game, promptly misses the front end of the one and one. Demons now six of ten from the charity stripe. Ball on the left wing, Jaron Lewis. Demons are giving him the three. Feeds it right wing. Foster will penetrate back to Lewis. He'll drive left baseline all the way. Misses the lay-in. Rebound pulled down to Ishmael Lane off the tip. Feeds it to C.J. Jones. Jones will bring it into the front court. Right side. Demons down two, 19-17. Ball in the corner. Right wing. Top of the key lane. Left corner Malik Matwire. Back up top to Jones. To Owens. Looking inside. Dribbles. Hands off to Caleb Starks. Starks working with the left hand. Back to Lane. Lane settles, he'll take that three from the right side. Good, and the Demons have their first lead of the ball game. Ishmael Lane's got nine. Best three-point shooter remaining on this Demons roster. Ball on the left wing, drive from there. Back up top to Jalen Franklin, right baseline. Drive in, righty hook is no good. Rebound Ishmael Lane. Lane ahead to C.J. Jones. Jones right corner to Starks. Starts back to Jones, top of the key lane, looking inside, skips it left corner, Matwire. Back left wing, Jones, top of the key, Owens. Owens dribbles, going to take it down the right side. It's out of bounds. Oh, it should, they should get that. It was off of Friday, but they didn't see that as Owens tripped and fell down, and the ball went out of bounds. It'll belong to ACU. Well, the Demons have their first lead of the ball game, 20 to 19, 741 left to go, first half of play. Take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network on NSUDemons.com. This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. 7.41 left to go in the first half of play. Demons have their first lead of the ballgame. NSU on an 11-4 run right now to take the 20-19 lead. The Demons... Getting great production from Ishmael Lane. Already nine points and six rebounds for Lane. 
Jacob Guest is in the ballgame for the first time for the Demons. As the Demons are on defense, they work it inside. Skip it left corner. Three on the way is good from Tevin Foster. Makes it 22-20 in favor of Abilene. Guest, 6'4", 190, sophomore from Bossier City out of Airline High School. Jones out long, wants a screen from his Monroe running buddy Larry Owens. Jones works to the left wing, feeds it to Lane right wing. Lane will dribble, hand off to Starks. Starks gets a screen, feeds it back to Owens. He was cutting, lost it, gets it back, goes up, off glass and good for Larry Owens. He's got four. Ties us back up at 22 apiece. On the left wing, Tevin Foster just knocked down that three, goes to Jalen Franklin left wing. Franklin gets the screen at the left elbow, fight, feeds it back to Friday, wide open for another three, and he misses it short. Rebound, though, tipped out and just saved before half court by Jalen Franklin on the tip back. Right wing, three on the way from there is no good front iron. Rebound, that's going to be a hold against C.J. Jones after the missed three by Hayden Farquhar. Mike McConaughey not pleased with that foul call. That is the fourth team foul against the Demons. Abilene's been called for eight. They get it to th a three from Foster. That one's short, and that rebound pulled down by Jacob Guest. Guest will turn, flip it ahead to C.J. Jones. Jones into the front court, top of the key to Lane. Lob inside to Owens. Owens back to the basket, flips it with the right hand, no good. Rebound, Ishmael Lane will track it down in the, in the corner, and then he's called for steps. Traveling violation called on Ishmael Lane, who was look, appeared to be just standing in the corner. He wasn't even moving, really. He, coll he collected that rebound, chased it down, and then was just sort of standing there. By the way, Abilene has not, not had a jumper since that Tevin Foster three. Into the front court, double screen set up. They get it up top to Friday. Right wing for Foster. Mid post, back to Friday. He'll fire another three. That one's back iron, no good. Caleb Starks tracks down the rebound. Here comes C.J. Jones. Jones into the front court, flips it left wing to Owens, gets it back to Jones. Jones back to Owens' left wing. Hands off to Starks. Owens wins the post up, couldn't get it to him. Top of the key now to Lane, and Lane will be fouled. Foul called on Jelani Friday, and that's the big fella's second. And this has been the real Achilles heel for Jelani Friday, the highest, uh, the leading scorer for ACU. Jelani Friday has fouled out of every conference game so far. Five games, five foul outs in a row for Jelani Friday, and he just picked up his second. Ishmael Lane will go to the line to shoot two here. Lane, by the way, nearly at a double-double in the first half. He's got nine points and seven rebounds in this ballgame. First free throw is good. He earns the bonus. Ten points now for Ish Lane coming in. Four double-doubles on the season. Narrowly missed, uh, missed it against SFA. Ten points and nine rebounds in that ball game against the Lumberjacks. Second free throw, no good. Demons continue to struggle a bit from the line. Just seven of 12 now from the charity stripe. Into the front court comes Jalen Franklin. Gives it right wing. Foster will drive from there into traffic. Skip it left corner for three. No good. Rebound knocked out long. Starks will come away with it. Demons will look to run momentarily. Back to Jones. Jones holds. Now will send Starks through and set up the offense. Back screen for Ishmael Lane. Top of the key to Hutton. Trying to go inside to him, and that's going to be a hold, and Lane will shoot more free throws. Foul called on Colton Cole, who just checked in. Seven foot, 225, the redshirt freshman from San Angelo, Texas, out of Central High School. So you have a couple of interesting cases on Abilene's team. You've got Jelani Friday, who's fouled out of every conference game, and you have Hayden Howell, who fouled out of their last game against Houston Baptist in three minutes. First free throw is good for Ishmael Lane, 11 points to lead the way for the Demons. Demons have their biggest lead of the game as Caleb Starks checks out. And Vontae Ott in for the first time. Ott, 6'3", 185, the freshman from Victorville, California out of Hesperia High School. Lane's second free throw is short, rebound tip, but controlled ultimately by Hayden Farquhar. And then a foul is going to be called on Brandon Hutton well away from the bas or well away from the front court. He was in the back court trying to see if he could get a steal from Farquhar. Instead, sort of hip-checked him a little bit. And Darian Dixon will check in to replace Brandon Hutton. 
Demons lead 24-22 with 5-12 left to go in the first half of play. Ott against Jalen Franklin. Right wing to Foster. Foster will drive, step back, pull the trigger. That one's front iron, no good. Rebound tipped twice, and ultimately Ishmael Lane comes away with it. Lane picks up his eighth rebound, I believe. Yes, into the front court, C.J. Jones. Works with the left hand, pulls up from 12, left side back iron, no good. Good looking shot, just didn't quite fall. Here comes Tevin Foster back the other way. Foster flips it back to Farquhar. Oh, travel didn't get called. Farquhar then traveled again, and that one did get called. Well, the first one didn't, the second one did. That is turnover number seven by Abilene. That's almost half of what they average, actually more than half of what they average. Abilene only turns it over 13 times a game. That's second best in the south one. Demons have already forced them into seven turnovers in this one. Into the front court, C.J. Jones. Back screen for Ishmael Lane. Now Darian Dixon will come and set the screen for Jones on the left wing, and Jones is going to back it out and reset. Wants Lane to set the screen instead, gives it to him at the top. Flips it right wing to Ott, right corner. Guess he'll fire the three, air balls it. Shots long. Here comes Tevin Foster with the backside rebound. Flips it left corner. Three on the way from there is no good. Ishmael Lane, his ninth rebound of the first half. Into the front court, Vontae Ott back to Lane. Lane drives down the right side, pulls up. Too strong off glass. Here comes Tevin Foster. Lobs it ahead and throws it right out of bounds. We'll go the other way as we hit the under four media timeout. 3.56 left to go in the first half of play. 24-22, Northwestern State with the lead. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to Northwestern State Demon Basketball on NSUDemons.com. Western State leads Abilene Christian 24-22 with 3.56 left to go in the first half of play. Demons being led by nearly a double-double in the first half for Ishmael Lane. 11 points, 9 rebounds in the first half for Ishmael Lane. Five on the defensive end, four on the offensive end. One more rebound, and he'll have his fifth double-double of the year. And he could get it here in the first half, still 3.50 remaining. Isaiah Sweeney flips it back to Lane. He's going to fire a three from the left wing. Rattles in and out, no good. Malik McGuire gets the rebound, and he is fouled underneath. Nice job on the offensive glass by Malik McGuire. Foul called on Hayden Farquhar. The Demons are really statistically poor in a lot of areas. They're plus 300 ranked in a lot of categories. One thing they do exceptionally well, offensive rebound. They average 12 and a half offensive rebounds a game. That's 47th best in the country. And Malik Matwires, free throw hits off the back iron, goes straight up in the air, hits the backboard, then the front iron, and unfortunately doesn't fall. By the way, since the Demons went down six, they are on a 15 to seven run to take a two-point lead. Unfortunately, still not knocking down their free throws regularly enough as both of those miss for Malik Matwire. Demons are 8 of 16, shooting 50% from the line. Ball on the left side. Vontae Ott does a great job of stripping that one away, but it goes out of bounds in the corner. Malik Matwire tried to save it, but credit Vontae Ott laid out in the low post to get around and make sure that one couldn't get fed down there. Jalen Franklin out long, feeds it left wing, down in the corner, Farquhar, and he's going to travel. 
Turnover number nine for Abilene, which again, Abilene only averages 13 turnovers a game. And they're almost already there. Demons lead by two. That's the problem, though. Demons are shooting 35% from the field, holding Abilene to 32%. By the way, Abilene, one of the best free field goal percentage teams in the conference. That shot is no good from the right baseline. Offensive rebound inside for Matoire. Matoire works back to the basket, spins to Ishmael Lane, skips right wing to Vontae Ott. 23 to shoot. Ott pulls it all the way back out. Works with the left hand. Crosses over, works with the right hand, bumped at the free throw line, almost gets it to fall, and he'll shoot two. Foul called on Drake Green, and that is his third. So more free throws for the Demons, who if the Demons could hit their free throws, they would be pulling away from this game. Demons are just 8 of 16 from the free throw line here in the first half. Vontae Ott, the lefty, knocks the first one down, his first point of the ball game. Makes it 25-22. Vontae Ott is a, coming in just a, he only attempted eight free throws all year long. Just two of eight. Misses the second one, so now three of ten for Vontae Ott. Rebound pulled down by Hayden Howell. Howell, the aforementioned guy who fouled out in three minutes at Houston Baptist. Ball in the right corner, and we're going to have an illegal screen underneath called against the Wildcats, against Peyton Ricks. Ricks picks up his first. Joe Golding in the ear of Travis Modal saying there was a foul on the other end. Joe Golding battling a little bit of illness. Everyone seems to have the flu or be sick in some manner. Joe Golding, no exception. He spent most of the road trip at Houston Baptist and then here in the bed. C.J. Jones works inside, puts it up. That's good, but he's called for traveling first on the wild shot from the right side. So even when the Demons get a, a look that goes in, they get called for traveling. Turnover number eight by the Demons. Ten turnovers now for Abilene. Ball on the left wing, top of the key. Howell right around the right wing to Jalen Franklin, back up top. That's Peyton Ricks. Ricks works with the right hand, feeds it down underneath, back to the basket, turns, floats it up. That one rattles and falls for Jalen Franklin who's got a huge size advantage underneath against C.J. Jones. Franklin at 6'2", 205. Jones at 5'10", 160. He's Aya Sweeney at the top. Looking inside, now gives it right wing to Vontae Ott. Ott pulls it back down to Sweeney. Sweeney right wing, goes inside the lane. Double team comes, ball stripped, but it comes right to Ott. Eight to shoot, left wing Jones. Left corner turned over, but out of bounds. Should that be a reset? Now they're going to have to discuss whether that should be a reset of the shot clock or not because he caught it and was standing out of bounds with it. And Mike McConaughey wants to know why they... Mike McConaughey said, look, he's got a hold of the ball. And he said, how is it not a change of possession? And Doug George says it was... They get it inside the lane. Lane spins, puts it up. That one's no good. Offensive rebound, put back good for Malik Matoire. Demons back in on top by three, 27-24 with a minute 34 remaining. Left wing Peyton Ricks. Ricks will drive left baseline all the way. Reverse is no good, but he's fouled. Shot across the head by Malik Matoire. Got him on the head as he came around. Everyone else was clean. Matoire just sort of hit him on the head as he came by. And so Peyton Ricks goes to the line. For a team that shoots free throws pretty well, 70% from the line. Sixth best in the Southland Conference. Ricks knocks down the first. His first point of the ball game makes it 27-25. Larry Owens will check in for Ishmael Lane. Lane working on a double-double, 11 points, nine rebounds in this one in the first half. Second free throw is good for Ricks. He's got two. 27-26, NSU with the lead with a minute 25 remaining. Jones dribbles long on the right wing. Gives it up top to Larry Owens. Owens flips it inside. Ball is stripped. Picked up by the Wildcats. They'll look to run as Tevin Foster picks up his dribble. They fired ahead. They get it back to Franklin on the right wing. Screen and roll. Franklin will drive the left side. Shot blocked by Isaiah Sweeney, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back up and good. Jalen Franklin's got eight. The Wildcats lead by one, 28-27. Demons have now turned it over ten times. Ball in the right corner, Ott, right wing. Top of the key to Isaiah Sweeney. Shakes, 
Works with the left hand, steps back, works with the right hand. Flips it down on the short corner to Malik McTwire. He spins baseline, back out to Vontae Ott. Right wing three, good! Great look from Malik McTwire to Vontae Ott. Ott knocks down the triple, he's got four, and the Demons lead by two, 30 to 28. About a three second differential from shot clock and game clock. Joe Golding, seventh year head coach of the Wildcats, instructs his guys to run a 1-4 one lo one low set or a flat set for Jalen Franklin. Gives it up top now to Jaron Lewis. Lewis jab steps, jab steps again, works with the right hand, spins, goes baseline, off glass, no good. Rebound to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will push just inside half court. Good if it goes, it doesn't. Just off the front, front iron for Isaiah Sweeney. But a good first half of the Northwestern State Demons. Unfortunately, the Demons have to play very slow and control the game, but they're doing a good job of it. And right now, they've done that to the tune of a two-point lead at halftime. Set to go for the second half. Abilene will have the first possession. Demons lead 30 to 28. Abilene now moving right to left or south to north. Drive from the right side cut off by Ricks. Top of the key all the way around to the left corner. Jalen Franklin will drive, cut off. Now works back to the basket, pushes off. Shot is up and good and he's fouled. Foul will be called on Ishmael Lane. That'll be his first. And that's the advantage, really, that Abilene has, and Mike McConathy not happy with that call. Jalen Franklin goes to the line to shoot one. He's got 10. Misses the free throw, however, and Ishmael Lane picks up the triple or picks up the double-double as he snares that rebound. So Lane now, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Ball in the right corner, Isaiah Sweeney. Looking inside, can't get it there to Jones. Darian Dixon, Dixon will hand off to Malik Matwire. Matwire works at the top, feeds it right corner. Three from C.J. Jones, front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by the Wildcats. They'll look to run up the right-hand side, Franklin. Skips it into the left corner. Three on the way from there is short. Rebound Ishmael Lane again. Give him 11 rebounds in the ball game to go along with 11 points. Lane gets it back, works and hands off to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney works to the left elbow. He'll penetrate, flip it into the corner, knocked out of bounds by Tevin Foster. By the way, we will be going to 97.5 FM. If you're listening in the Natchitoches area online, you'd like to listen on, on the radio, we'll be flipping to 97.5 FM um, to let you know when we go to 97.5. Demons will inbound. Get it into Ishmael Lane. He'll work out long to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney works off the right hand. Top of the key to Darian Dixon. Dixon dribbles, five to shoot. Right corner, McTwire for three, short. Rebound, Dixon puts it back up and good. Darian Dixon's got four. Demons retake the lead, 32-30. Minute and a half gone by. Back to the basket, Jalen Franklin against Isaiah Sweeney. Flips it into the right corner. Jelani Friday flips it back across the lane. And an easy lay-in for Jaron Lewis. That was a nifty pass. 32-32, Isaiah Sweeney on the right side. Bumped hard by Ricks, gets it back out to Jones. Top of the key, Lane. Lane dribbles. Thought about the back door, hands off to Matwire instead. Matwire, right wing, Sweeney. Sweeney off the screen, works to the free throw line, pulls up from there, back iron no good. Offensive rebound, Ishmael Lane. Lane goes back up, misses it, gets it again, and he's fouled. That'll be the third on Jelani Friday, who we mentioned has fouled out of every conference game so far this year. And he picks up his third. So Ishmael Lane will go to the line to shoot two. The Demons, nine of 18 from the line in the first half, just 50%. Demons are doing all of their work on the offensive glass in this one. Again, continuing to shoot the ball poorly. As Lane knocks down the first free throw. 12 points, 12 rebounds for Ishmael Lane. He is having a monster afternoon here. As the Prather Coliseum crowd goes quiet for him to shoot his second free throw, and he knocks that one home. Lane's got 13, makes it 34-32 Demons. 
17.57 left to go in the ball game. Cross Jalen Franklin works to the left wing, works with the right hand into the lane, floats it up. That one's no good left side. Out of bounds off of the Demons. And Mike McConaughey not pleased with that being called out of bounds off of NSU. Looked like Jelani Friday at inside position. Get it in the left corner to Peyton Ricks. Ricks dribbles it back out, crosses over, backs it out. Top of the key, Jaron Lewis. Demons back off of Lewis. Right wing, Franklin, Foster, left side, Lewis. Bounce pass inside to Friday, misses the lay-in, but a late foul will be called on the Demons. Foul is called on Malik Matwire. That's his second. Malik Matwire, second. Team second. And Mike McConathy. And uh, Mike McConaughey saying it seems like the only official blowing the whistle is Travis Modal. First free throw is good for Jelani Friday. He's got 11. Makes it 34-33. Demons have started just one of four from the field here in the second half. Second free throw no good. Rebound tipped right into the hands of Tevin Foster, and he draws the foul on Ishmael Lane. Got Lane up in the air. Picks up his second personal, and that'll be free throws for Abilene. The Wildcats shot three free throws in the first half. They're already past that here in the second half. First free throw is good for Tevin Foster. He's got four points. Coming off of five points and six assists at Houston Baptist, he was just one of six from the field and just 0 of four from three. But he makes both free throws. He's got five points. Makes it 35-34 Abilene. Little token full court pressure here. Foster will work C.J. Jones a bit as he brings into the front court. Hand checks him all the way. Up top to Dixon. Lob inside the lane. Ball tapped away into the corner for Malik Matwire. Matwire drives with the left hand. Takes it all the way. Floats it up right over the front iron and good. Malik Matwire has four. Bit of an aw awkward shot, but it goes back the other way. They flip it back out to Friday, right corner. Three on the way from there is good for Peyton Ricks. He's got five, makes it 38-36. Quickly back the other way come the Demons. Ball at the top for Darian Dixon. He'll hand off to Matwire. Just had that wild shot go in. Off a of screen, right side to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will drive with the left hand. Flip it inside, ball is tipped and turned over. And that's going to be a foul on Isaiah Sweeney on the turnover by Peyton Ricks. Sweeney picks up his second. Larry Owens will check in to replace Ishmael Lane. They're going to have to catch Lane. Probably going to have to get him breaks right around the media timeouts if they give him any breaks at all. Mike McConaughey's thinking is here, give him 37 seconds to whenever the next media timeout is and then give him the media timeout to rest. Drive from the right side, back to the basket, flip it out long to Friday. Friday, left wing, Tevin Foster. Screen and roll, they get it inside to Friday. Knocked away by Larry Owens, but picked up by Abilene. Left wing three from Ricks, it's good. Well, the ball not bouncing the way of the Demons right now. Couple of different loose balls that have ended up in Abilene's hands. C.J. Jones works off the screen left wing. Flips it up top to Larry Owens. Owens, handoff. Isaiah Sweeney right side, works away from the screen, splits defenders, goes up, shot no good. Rebound tapped out to Matwire. Matwire runs into his own guy, flips it back to Jones. Fire inside to Dixon, Dixon back to the basket to Owens. Owens, he'll drive down the right side, bump, no call. C.J. Jones gets the steal, spins inside, flips it over. That shot is blocked and a foul is called and that's gonna be number four on Jelani Friday. So Friday, who has fouled out of every Southland Conference game this year, already has four fouls with 15-41 left to go in the ball game. 15-41 left to go. The Demons are down five, but they'll shoot free throws when we return. You are listening to Northwestern State Demon Basketball on NSUDemons.com.
This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, Bear Town and Country, Manpower, Mike and Kenny Knotts, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Life. 15.41 left to go. The Demons catching a large break. Jelani Friday picking up his fourth foul of the ball game with still 15.41 left. So Friday, who's fouled out of every Southland Conference game so far this year, already has four fouls and will have to sit for a while here as Darian Dixon makes both free throws. Makes it 41-38, Darian Dixon with six points. Into the front court, the Wildcats in the right corner. They now feed it on the low block to Jaron Lewis. Back to the basket against Owens. Spins, fires it up with the left hand, just over the front iron and good for Lewis. He's got nine, makes it 43-38. Abilene with the lead, C.J. Jones into the front court. A lot of body contact from Tevin Foster, not called. Now they're going to finally call the hand check. Foster will pick up his second. Well, look, you ride him long enough, and eventually they're going to call you for the foul. The thing is, when you put the forearm on the, the ball handler, you have to remove it at some point. You can't just ride him the entire way, or that's when a foul gets called. And again, Abilene, one of the most foul-prone teams in the country. C.J. Jones off the screen, now gives it left wing to Larry Owens, hands off to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney works the crossover, steps back. Owens in the left corner. He'll dribble out to the left wing. Feed it out with two to shoot. Jones pulls the deep three. Front back iron, no good. Rebound inside, picked up by Jaron Lewis. He fires it ahead. Tevin Foster lobbed backside. Layup up and good for Hayden Farquhar. That is the first points off the bench for anyone on Abilene Christian. And Mike McConaughey takes the timeout. Abilene takes its biggest lead of the ball game, 45-38, with 14.40 left to go. So the first timeout of the second half becomes a full timeout, so we'll take it. Demons with their largest deficit of the ball game, down seven, 45-38. We'll take a break, come back. Northwestern State down by seven. You're listening to Northwestern State Demon Basketball on NSUDemons.com. State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. Northwestern State head coach Mike McConaughey takes a timeout as his Demons find themselves down 7, 45-38. Largest deficit the Demons have faced in this ballgame. Darian Dixon up top to Larry Owens, 14 to shoot for the Demons. Owens right wing to Brandon Hutton. Hutton thought about going inside, feeds to Sweeney. Sweeney fades away, puts it up, rattles around and falls. Isaiah Sweeney's got seven, makes it 45-40. However, Abilene hitting six of eight to start here in the second half. Ball inside, layup up, layup good for Peyton Ricks. He's hit a couple of threes and now a two inside. That ball knocked away by Abilene. And NSU down seven again, 47-40. The Wildcats have hit seven of their first nine here in the second half. They started the first half hitting five of seven and then went just six of 24 the rest of the way. They started the second half seven of nine. Let's hope there's a six of 24 to follow for the Wildcats. Sweeney has it out long, left wing, inside to Hutton. Hutton back to the basket, feeds to Dixon, not good spacing there. Now they get it to Lane at the top. Lane pulls the right elbow jumper, front iron no good. Goes and gets his own rebound, goes up with it, puts it in. Ishmael Lane's got 15. Demons down 47-42. Lane with his 13th rebound of the ball game. Have to check the uh, Ish Lane's 
career numbers here momentarily. Ball on the left wing, Tevin Foster. Foster gives on the low block. Jaron Lewis back to the basket against Darian Dixon into traffic, gets fouled. Foul called on Brandon Hutton. Hutton picks up his third. That'll be free throws for Abilene. So Ishmael Lane's career high in rebounds was 14 two years ago against Southeastern. And he's got 13 right now. First free throw is good for Jaron Lewis. This is a very short rotation for Joe Golding's Abilene Christian squad. They really only play six guys. Lewis makes both. Demons do not convert their free throws Typically this year, Abilene is doing a nice job of that. C.J. Jones into the front court, working on the left wing to Brandon Hutton. Hutton thought about driving, goes behind the back, pulls the long two, back iron no good, bad shot from Hutton. And here comes a run out the other way, up the left side, shot is up and blocked by Hutton. Good hustle by Hutton to get back and block it. And there is the 14th rebound as that ball goes out of bounds, knocked out by Abilene. Actually, they're gonna correct it and say it was just out of bounds off the Demons. And 12.59 left to go. Demons down seven here, 49-42. Reminder, we're going to switch over to 97-5 when we get our next stoppage of play. Ball on the right side. Peyton Ricks all the way around into the left corner now. Drive from there, Tevin Foster all the way through to the right corner, all the way to the right wing. Picks up his dribble, skips it left corner. Jaron Lewis with five to shoot. He'll drive all the way through, skip it right corner. Three on the way from there is good for Tevin Foster. And it is a 10-point lead for Abilene Christian, 52-42. Wildcats sort of slowly pulling away from the Demons right now. C.J. Jones works with the right hand, hands to Brandon Hutton. Hutton works with the right hand down the right side, pulls it from 10, back iron no good. Long rebound, here comes the Abilene run out again up the left hand side, that's gonna be a foul called on C.J. Jones. Jones stripping, trying to get in and get the strip on the run out. Jones will pick up his second personal. That's gonna be on the floor. So, Abilene will not, I don't believe they're shooting free throws. Oh, I thought initially he said it was on the floor. But I guess we're going to shoot two, so they're going to change that. They'll shoot two here. First free throw is up and no good. Abilene misses for just the third time in this game. 12.07 left to go. Dangerous time here for the Demons, trailing by 10. Abilene is just slowly pulling away as they are knocking down their shots here in the second half. They're eight of 11 from the field here in the second half and three of four from three. They're also uh, six of eight from the charity stripe. Free throw was, second free throw was good. It's an 11 point lead for Abilene. Jones drives in, that ball knocked away by ACU, and we've got our under 12 media timeout. Now we're gonna switch over to 97.5, so if you're listening online, you can stay online, we'll still be there at NSU Demons, but we'll be switching to 97.5 to bring you this broadcast. So we'll be back in a bit. Stay tuned if you're on NSU Demons, you'll still get it, and we'll be right back on 97.5 FM KDVH here locally in Natchitoches. Demons trail by 11, with 11.56 left on the Demons Sports Network. Thank you. 
Well, we welcome you into Prather Coliseum where the Northwestern State Demons are taking on Abilene Christian. The Demons led at halftime 30 to 28, but they now find themselves down 11 as Abilene has gotten hot from the field and the Demons remain cool. They struggle from the field as always this season. Darian Dixon with five to shoot. Right wing to Sweeney. Sweeney will penetrate all the way. Float it up and off glass. Good. Sweeney with one on the shot clock knocks that one home. 53-44 storyline from this game. Abilene has got two bench points, but they have four of their five starters in double figures. Demons have a double-double from Ishmael Lane, 15 and 14. That's a ties his career high for rebounds with 14. Demons are in a 3-2 zone here, or, or sort of a sunken 1-2-2. They have run a 3-2 in the past, and it looks like they might be in it right now. Ricks has it out long. He'll drive down the right side, flip it inside, pick up the left elbow, jumper on the way, his back iron no good, rebound tip twice, Ishmael Lane comes away with it. Good move to the zone, gets a stop there initially. Isaiah Sweeney quickly back the other way in the right corner. Ishmael Lane works to the block, Darian Dixon at the top. Dribbles, hands off to Malik McTwire. McQuire left wing to C.J. Jones. Up top to Ishmael Lane. Skips it right wing to Isaiah Sweeney. Right corner, McQuire. Back up top to Darian Dixon. Dixon will drive with the right hand into traffic. That's going to be a charge on Darian Dixon. Dixon picks up his second personal. So for those of you, obviously, who haven't been following along on NSUDemons.com, the Demons got down quickly, six to nothing. Came back, hit a nice run after getting down six. They went on a 16 to seven run. Take the lead, they had a two point lead at halftime, but Abilene has just sort of slowly pulled away. The Wildcats have hit eight of 12 from the field in the second half. Euro step back to the left corner for three. That one's no good. Rebound Darian Dixon, great job blocking out inside. So the zone has worked, forced a couple of empty possessions. As Sweeney has it on the right wing, screen and roll with Ishmael Lane. Gives it back to Lane on the right baseline. Steps back to take the three, misses it front iron, and we're going to have bodies flying, no call. And then Lane gets a strip, but he's called for the foul from about 30 feet away. Travis Modal calls the foul. He was not anywhere near to being the guy that should have called that foul. Ishmael Lane picks up his third. Jelani Friday, the fret reigning freshman of the year in the Southland Conference, leading score for Abilene Christian. Sitting right now with 11 points as he has picked up four fouls. Front of the one and one is no good. Ishmael Lane clears his 15th rebound, 16th rebound actually. He's now got a new career high with 16 boards. Demons down nine, but need to get some offensive execution. And that's something they have struggled with all season long. The Demons shoot just 39% from the field for the year. Darian Dixon, right wing to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will penetrate. Back up top to Dixon, looking inside. He'll drive with the right hand, skip it right corner. Jones with two to shoot. Pulls up from 12, buries it. C.J. Jones' first points of the ball game. Lead has been cut to seven, 53-46. 3-2 zone again. This is the zone that the Demons ran several years ago with great success. Farquhar on the right elbow, drives in, misses it. Rebound tipped and finally will be controlled by Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will bring it into the front court. Malik McTwire back to Sweeney. Flips it back to C.J. Jones. Demons down seven with a basketball. McTwire, right wing to Sweeney. Up top to Ishmael Lane. Lane will drive in, a lot of contact. Can't quite get it to fall, but he'll shoot two. That is just the fourth team foul called against Abilene in the second half. Drake Green picks up his fourth. In the first half, Abilene was called for 14 fouls in the first half. They've been called for four through the first 11 minutes and three seconds of the second half. Ishmael Lane goes to the line. The Demons attempted 18 free throws in the first half. They've attempted just five here in the second half. And Jelani Friday with four fouls will come back into the ball game along with Jaron Lewis. Keep in mind, this is again a short rotation for Joe Golding's Wildcats. They really have about six guys that play double-digit minutes. Against HBU, just six guys with double-digit minutes. The starters handle most everything, as Caleb Starks will check in to replace Isaiah Sweeney. Ishmael Lane, 15 points, 16 rebounds, a new career high. At the free throw line, where he is 6 of 11. 
His second free throw is good. Joe Golding and Mike McConaughey share a, a little, little laugh while Lane hits that second free throw. A couple of guys that really do like and respect each other a ton, Joe Golding and Mike McConaughey. Golding is one of the good ones in the league. Ball in the left corner, back up top, around right wing to Jaron Lewis. Skips it into the left corner, short corner. Back out it goes. Drive, skip into the right corner. Back inside now to Friday. Shot is up short. Rebound Malik McGuire. Nice possession defensively for the Demons. McGuire into the front court. And he's going to get called for a carrying violation. And I think that might be the first time Ryan Snyder's even blown his whistle in this game. That's a pretty, pretty weak call for out there. The Demons stay in that 3-2 zone. They've had a good success with it. They've scored the last five points in a row. Get it in the corner. Now to Jelani Friday inside. Turns, flips it up. No good. Rebound Malik McGuire. Another stop by the Demons with that 3-2 zone. C.J. Jones into the front court. Pulls it back out. Eight minutes left to go. Demons down six with a basketball. Need to get some points, though, offensively. Left corner, Darian Dixon. Caleb Starks left wing. Stark dribbles to the top, crosses over, back to Dixon. Gets it inside and throws it away. And, oh, actually, they get a gift. He threw it over the head of Ishmael Lane, but it was grabbed by Jalen Franklin. However, Franklin was standing out of bounds. 7.47 left to go. Northwestern State down six with the basketball. When we return, you are listening to the Demon Sports Network. with 7.47 left. All right, so if uh, anybody that was listening online, if you want to uh, listen online, again, you'll have to refresh your, your screen, refresh your browser, and select part two of the broadcast. We kind of split it up since we switched back from the webcast to 97.5. Malik McGuire dribbles, flips it back out, turns it over to Jalen Franklin. Franklin back the other way. And this is the lay-in offensive rebound by Tevin Foster. Foster pulls it back out. Works with the left hand all the way to the left elbow. Demons will stay in their 3-2 zone. Ball on the left side, Foster. Back out long to Franklin. Demons have had good success with this 3-2. Slowed down the Abilene attack. They skip it into the left corner. Foster will drive left baseline. Flip it inside to Friday. Friday is fouled with three on the shot clock. Foul called on C.J. Jones. That's his third. Could have had a three-second violation on Friday. He was camped out there for a bit on the drive by Tevin Foster. Free throws for Jelani Friday. First one rattles out, no good. Demons shooting 40% here in the second half, which is actually better than they did in the first half. They shot 36% in the first half. So far, 40%. They missed all five of their threes here in the second half of play. Second free throw is good for Friday. He's got 12, but he is being vastly outplayed by Ishmael Lane tonight. Lane 16 and 16 in this ball game. Isaiah Sweeney hands off to Jacob Guest. Guest works to the top on the dribble. Now works to the right wing, gives to C.J. Jones. Inside to Ishmael Lane. Lane goes up, lays it up and in. Lane's got 18. Quickly back the other way comes Foster, drives in. Wild circus shot goes for Tevin Foster. 
So just as quickly as the Demons cut it to five, Abilene gets it back to seven, 56-49. Bad transition defense by the Demons. Guess left wing to Dixon. Inside to Ishmael Lane. Lane catches. Flips it back to Guess. Three from the right wing. Left side, no good. Rebound to Jelani Friday to Foster. Demons are going to set up in that 3-2 zone again. They've had good success when they've been in it. Ball on the left wing. Drake Green flips it down low to Friday. Excuse me, to, yeah, Friday. Now back to Green. Green back to Friday. Ball is loose. He picks it back up. Skips it back up top, seven to shoot, and that's going to be a traveling violation on Tevin Foster. Turnover number 13 by Abilene. They've only had three turnovers here in the second half after having 10 in the first half. Demons are down seven with a basketball, 56-49. Isaiah Sweeney gives it inside to Ishmael Lane. Lane goes in. He's fouled. That's it. Jelani Friday's fouled out if that's who it is. I can't imagine it's not. Oh, they get lucky. Jaron Lewis gets called for the foul. Jelani Friday was close to fouling out for his sixth consecutive Southland Conference game. And Ishmael Lane goes back to the line to shoot two. Lane, 18 points, 16 rebounds in this ball game. And he misses the free throw. That one rattled all the way around and came out. He is 7 of 13 from the charity stripe. He's looking at a 20 and 20 game before it's all said and done with 5.53 remaining. Demons are down seven. Second free throw is good for Ishmael Lane. 19 for him. 56-50. Demons are going to stay in the 3-2. It's worked very well so far. Abilene's shooting percentage has plummeted since the Demons went to it. Out long, Jalen Franklin. Franklin gives it up top. Foster thought about the three. Back to Franklin. Franklin will drive the left side, flips it back into the corner. Three on the way from there is good for Drake Green. First points of the ball game for Drake Green. Into the front court and almost a turnover. Isaiah Sweeney gets it into the left baseline. Darian Dixon. Dixon has it blocked and turned over Jalen Frank, uh, Jelani Friday. They lob it ahead right side, turn it over. 5-10 left to go. Abilene will bring Peyton Ricks into the ball game to replace Drake Green, who just knocked down that three. Also, Hayden Farquhar will check in to replace Jelani Friday. Friday's got 12 points and four rebounds. Ishmael Lane has 19 points and 16 boards in this game. Ishmael Lane is having an absolutely monster afternoon. As the Demons have the basketball, down nine. Need to score, though. Jacob Guest, right wing, up top to Isaiah Sweeney, lob inside the lane, and he's held immediately. And that'll be Hayden Farquhar's second personal. That is just the sixth team foul against Abilene, who was called for 14 in the first half. Demons will inbound from the left baseline. They get it in long. Isaiah Sweeney has it knocked away by Jalen Franklin. Demons will now inbound from the left sideline. 4.57 left. Demons are down nine. They need to be, they've been good offensively, defensively the last several possessions. They need to be better defensively the next several possessions. You mean better offensively. Got to have more production on the offensive side. Demons are shooting 38% from the field, which is just 1% under what they usually have. Demons have not shot the ball well. C.J. Jones up top to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will drive in. Step back jumper on the way is good. Sweeney's got 11. Second de Demon in double digits, 59-52. Demons down seven in the 3-2 zone. Kevin Foster th almost throws it away. Gets it in. Now into the corner for Farquhar. He'll fire the three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes by ACU. That's one way to beat a zone is knock down your triples. And the Wildcats, who went 3 of 11 from beyond the arc in the first half, are 4 of 7. They lob it inside to Sweeney, and it's turned over. Knocked out of bounds. Or excuse me, lob it inside to Lane. Sweeney tried to lob it inside to him. It's a little too tall. And Mike McConathy will call a timeout here. That'll replace our four-minute media timeout. 4.07 left to go. Northwestern State down 10, 62-52. We'll take a full break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network.
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the best sounding band in the land, the Spirit of Northwestern and the Purple Possess Pom Pom Line. And on defense are the Demons after they turned it over. The 18th turnover of the ball game by the Demons. Meanwhile, Abilene has turned it over 14 times. Demons have just five assists on 17 made baskets. They average just nine assists a game, which is second from, mo from last in the nation. Demons struggling to pass and make shots. Down the right side of the lane, shot up is up and good for Jalen Franklin. He's got 12, and Abilene slowly pulling away from the Demons in this one. Their biggest lead of the ball game, it's now 12, 64-52. C.J. Jones out long, Vontae Ott, left wing Malik Matwire. Still looking inside, now top of the key, Isaiah Sweeney, left wing Matwire. Back up top to Jones, he'll fire a three from there, misses it short, air balls it. Rebound out of bounds, will belong to Abilene. 3.31 remaining, and Mike McConaughey's going to bring in Cameron Lazar. Lazar, the Demon football player, 5'11", 202, the senior from Baton Rouge, Woodlawn High School. In this, his senior season, 36 catches, 314 yards, and two TDs. The Demons are going to pressure full court a little bit here, but NSU down 12 with 325 remaining. Into the front court, down the lane, right side is Foster. He'll pull it all the way back out, continue dribbling. Crosses over, works against Ott, gets caught up in the lane and throws it away. Knocked out of bounds by Isaiah Sweeney. Now they're going to come back and say it actually hit Foster last. And so that'll be turnover number 15 by Abilene Christian. 3-12 left to go, Northwestern State down 12. C.J. Jones into the front court, works off the screen, back now. Left wing to Isaiah Sweeney, Sweeney works with the right hand, pulls it back, lobs inside the Ishmael Lane, Lane goes back to the basket, and he puts it up and in, and he's fouled. Ishmael Lane's career day continues. Count the basket, foul on Jalen Franklin, his first. Well, Farquhar tried to flop and draw the charge. The officials let that one go. And then as Lane just had the easy bucket, Franklin came in and fouled him. So Ishmael Lane will shoot his 15th free throw of the ball game. 21 points and 16 rebounds for Ishmael Lane. Make it 22 and 16. 64-55, Cameron Lazar will check out. We mentioned for Lane, that's a new career high in rebounds with 16. And I'll check and see if it's a new career high in points for him. He had 32 in this matchup last year, so I know that. I'm assuming that's his career high, and it is, and we get a foul on C.J. Jones as he was riding the ball handler out and that'll be two free throws for Abilene with 2.44 remaining. The major difference here is Abilene Christian knocks down their free throws, our 70% foul shooting team. First one on the way, that one no good from Jalen Franklin. Demons though have struggled shooting free throws, averaging 63% today. They are 59%, however in the second half they're seven of nine. Second free throw, that one rattles in and out, no good. Ishmael Lane clears his 17th rebound of the ball game. C.J. Jones off the high screen and roll. Flips it right side to McGuire, who bobbles it, gets it back. Hands off to Vontae Ott, 17 to shoot. Ott off a screen, works inside. That's going to be the fifth foul on Jelani Friday. And he'll have fouled out of his fifth consecutive Southland Conference ball game. Jelani Friday, the reigning... Southland Conference freshman of the year, now a sophomore, is an absolute monster out there, but he uh, also cannot stop fouling. And so he fouls out of his fifth consecutive or sixth consecutive Southland Conference game. He's fouled out of every game in Southland Conference play. He's a heck of a talent, there's no doubt about it. Jelani Friday, a reigning Southland Conference freshman of the year, even despite fouling out against Houston Baptist, he had 23 and five. As Vontae Ott knocks down the first free throw, he's got five. Makes it 64-56 with 2.29 left. Demons still within striking distance with two and a half left. This has kind of been the way the last three conference games have all gone. 
Demons take a lead, usually at halftime. They give the lead up sometime in the second half, and then they sort of remain close. Demons almost get the turnover. They get it inside. Across the lane, it goes to Farquhar. Shot is no good. Rebound, Vontae Ott. He'll come away with it. Ott turns and runs into the front court. Works to the left wing. Up top to Ishmael Lane. Lane looking. Going to work against Farquhar. Down the right side. Spins, turns, fades. Shot out good. Offensive rebound. Matoire put back good. And Mike McConaughey calls the timeout. Demons haven't gone away yet. It's what they do. 64-58. Full timeout here. Full break for the Demons. 155 left. Northwestern State down six. They'll be on defense when we return. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. left to go in this one. Northwestern State not dead yet. And this has kind of been the way all of the Demons games have gone so far this year. The last three really. Obviously the Nichols game to start the conference season was just ugly. The Demons had just lost Jalen West. They didn't know what was going on. It was bad. But the last three McNeese, Corpus, and Stephen F. have all been kind of followed the same script. Demons get a, get a lead or close at halftime start to falter in the second half, keep it close throughout the remainder of the second half, and then ultimately, unfortunately, not find a way to win it. We'll see if they can find a way to win it this time. Minute 43 remaining. Peyton Ricks out long against C.J. Jones. 12 to, 12 to shoot, Jones harassing him all the way back out to half court. Now a little push off, Ricks drives with the left hand, loses it, but a foul is gonna be called on C.J. Jones. Foul will be on Jones, that is his fifth, so the Demon point guard is fouled out of this one. That'll be the first disqualification of the year for C.J. Jones. And Mike McConaughey talking to Ryan Snyder, asking him to walk him through the, the foul that was just called. Mike McConaughey taking all his time to uh, bring in a replacement. Vontae Ott is already in. He's the Demons backup point guard. And Brandon Hutton will check into the ball game. So the Demons will get a little bit bigger. And it will be two free throws on the other end for Peyton Ricks. Ricks is three for four from the line and he makes the first. Ricks has 11. Every starter for Abilene Christian has at least 10 points. Then two other guys have eight between them. Ricks hits both, he's got 12, lead is back to eight again, 66-58. Minute 25 remaining, Demons have to be just about perfect offensively the rest of the way. Ott running the point, gives it to Ishmael Lane at the top. Lane, jab, step, now will work with the right hand, flips it right wing to Ott. Ott penetrates to the free throw line, lobs inside the lane and turns it over. Pass was a little bit short of where Lane was. So the Demons will try to pick up defensively here as the clock goes under a minute remaining and a foul is going to be called on Isaiah Sweeney. And that will send Jalen Franklin to the free throw line. And again, the major difference between the Demons, although the Demons in the second half are 8 of 11 from the free throw line. If they would shoot like that all year long, well, number one, they'd be probably 2 and 2 in league play right now if they knocked down their free throws. They certainly would have beaten A&M Corpus Christi and likely McNeese as well. First free throw for Franklin is good. Nine-point lead now for the Wildcats, 
But again, the Demons kind of following the same script. They are competitive in the second half, stay within shouting distance, but ultimately somehow can't find a way to get the win. Demons get the rebound, fired ahead to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney just loses it as he goes in. And the Wildcats will bring it back into the front court with 53 seconds remaining. And that's going to be a blocking foul called on Malik McTwire. So McTwire will pick up his third, and that'll be more free throws as Cameron Lazar gets set to check back into the ballgame. This one uh, just about academic now with 50 seconds remaining. And again, the, the major issue for the Demons remains youth and lack of leadership. And it, it's, it's unfortunate the Demons lost four point guards. NSU had five point guards on the roster, now have one. And he's a true freshman, and he's not doing a bad job. C.J. Jones is having a, a nice year, but there's just no explosion, explosion or explosiveness to this offense for the Demons. They have really struggled from the field, shooting 39%. Demons are down 11 with the basketball. Ishmael Lane loses it, gets it back, loses it again, out of bounds. Three consecutive turnovers for the Demons. That will give them 21 turnovers in this ball game. And that is something they actually had corrected and done, done a nice job of staying away from the last several games is turning it over. But a lot of careless turnovers in this one. And Ishmael Lane, 22 points and 17 rebounds will check out of this ball game. New career high in rebounds with 17 and 22 points to go along with it. Demons are going to pressure full court here. As Tevin Foster brings into the front court, Joe Golding tells him no shot. Cameron Lazar being told by Mike McConaughey to put a little pressure on Tevin Foster. Telling him not to foul, but put a little pressure. Foster dribbles all the way over to Joe Golding, and Golding instructs him on what to do at the end of the shot clock. And I think Abilene's just going to take a shot clock violation here with one, and uh, that will be a shot clock violation. Just the sixth turnover, really five turnovers all told in the second half. Abilene had ten at halftime. Just five in the second half, and the Wildcats are going to win their fourth Southland Conference game as Vontae Ott fires a three, misses it. Rebound pulled down, and that's going to do it. Northwestern State falls by 11 to Abilene Christian, 69-58.